Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Emmanuel, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how we can use Swift Format to basically automatically format our code to follow certain rules. All right. So if you haven't watched my last video, then maybe you want to go check that out because what we do over there is basically setting up Swift Lint to lint our code and tell us when we're not following certain conventions. Now, in this video, we're going to use Swift Format to automatically format those. Um, you know, our code to match certain rules. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight into our view controller and I actually just took it back to the original point where we had some messed up inconsistent code. And we have a couple of errors. So in our last video, what we had to do was manually fix each of the rules and then run them. So we see that certain, you know, rules are not met. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use Swift format to basically fix all of these rules automatically. So the first thing I want to do is want to open up terminal and right here, the first thing I want to do is to install Swift format. So the same way we installed um, Swift Lint, which is going to say brew install Swift format. Now I actually have mine already installed. So just go ahead and install yours like that. So you can also confirm that you have Swift format, I think is dot um, version. Yeah. And this is the current version that I have installed on my system. Right. Then the next thing we want to do is to basically run Swift format whenever, um, you know, you build the application. So whenever you build the application, run this the, um, Linton and then run the formatting. All right. So how do we do that? Just go back into Xcode <clears throat> and then just go to the target, click here and we want to create a new um, Swift Lint. Right. So just go ahead and click on the plus. Uh, no, not this one. This one right at the top. And we're going to say new run script. And here we can just call this Swift format. All right. Now here we want to paste in the code that's going to be executed when we, you know, like build. So what we're going to do is just head over to the documentation. And if you scroll down, 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 down somewhere, uh, blah, 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 blah. Ah, right here. Now, if you scroll it right here, you can copy this. And where are you? Copy. And then we're just going to paste this right here. And I can go ahead and build this. And let's see. So this doesn't work. And if you look over here, it says, um, let's see, it says, uh, we're rendering every time. Yeah. But it says here that Swift format is not installed, but I know I have it. So what we would, what we can do to fix this is if you go back into the Swift lint, we need to specify the path. So if you see how we did right here in the Swift lint, we can just export the path to our homebrew, which is how we installed it. And then we can just go ahead and paste. Now, if you don't have this problem, that's fine. Just go ahead and paste this here. And if you go back to your view controller and you build, then we can see that a couple of formatting actually happened, but, um, and we don't have that error again. So now, even though the formatting happened, I want to have, um, my own formatting. I want my formatting basically to also match the, um, you know, the rules, the Swift Lint rules. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a file called dot swift format and i'm going to basically specify my rules so how do we do that open up your terminal you can say touch dot swift format and we can say um code so i'm just going to open this with visual studio code and um just click on the swift format and what i'm going to do i'm just going to paste what i already have so paste and here you can see a couple of rules that i have and I, i'm going to explain what is happening here okay but let's for now we have all these rules set up the options and the rules that we have enabled and disabled and if we go back to visuals to um, no, not visual studio but xcode and i build you will see something beautiful happen Ooh, yeah so just like that like with just one command and b everything is properly indented all the curly braces move to the right position Arguments that are not being used turn to an underscore. Everything just looks nice and clean, right? And all of these was done using like Swiftly. So this is actually the one of the huge benefits of um, Swift 
formatting, not swiftly. So um, you can just go ahead and explore this. Now let me show you um, what exactly, uh, what rules that I have set up. Now if you look here, let's actually go to documentation first. There are a couple of rules, and again, I'm gonna leave this in the description, so don't worry too much. If you look at this, you see a couple of rules that we have. So these are default rules that are set up. So like, and operator, empty braces, what happens if you have an empty braces, actually look at that. So if you open that in a new file, you would see examples. So if you have something like this, hmm, by default, when you use um, um, Swift format, it's going to change this to this. So it's gonna bring it to the next, to the same line, and then you know remove the, the closing brace. And if you wanna try that out, you can see here, if I were to remove do stuff like this, rather than it complaining about having trailing empty space, it would just collapse that and do this. Now it's very important for you to note that build um, Swift format actually changes your code. So it is important for you to, you know, either you, you should have a backup. Now, because I'm using um, Git, whenever changes are made, I can basically see all of those changes. So you need to be very careful when you're using Swift format so that you are aware of the changes that happened. So for sure, if you're using Git, then you can always confirm, but if you don't have any kind of source control set up, then changes are gonna happen in all the files in your code base and you're not even gonna be aware, right? So this is something that is very important for you to note, okay? So um, again, there are certain rules that you can do. You can see like we have maximum width and we have a value set, set in. We can see we have the indentation. I generally like um, two spacing indentation, but some people use four. So if we were to specify four and build this, then you would notice that then is going to indent properly or indent using the four spacing. All right. So this is something that is just, it's just really beautiful. It's just really beautiful. So then again, you can just go ahead and go through um, the list of rules. There are certain rules that you have to opt into, of course. Like for example, this is empty is one that I also like. So if you look at it's empty, see the example, you see that if you have foo.count equals zero, someone writes something like this. This generally, we already have a method called is empty that we can use. So just go ahead and change this code to this. So this is it's really good. You can go ahead and check for other ones. You can see block comments, block comments. See over here, um, we have this, this, just change to something like this, right? So um, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to show you in this video. If you have questions, go ahead and ask in the comment section. If you found any value in this, you can go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. But um, we're going to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.